So good evening and here is a video for your homework for today which was page 64. Do you remember page 64? Exercise 1, vocabulary shopping. So a very quick video just with the corrections. Are you ready to take a look? Well, let's have a look in that case at our crossword. Now do you remember it said complete the crossword. Now let's go straight to completing the answers. Here we go. So let's have a look. Number two, let's look at the clues down first. Now, well, we have the example now. When you shop online, you normally have to create an account now with your personal details. Something you want to buy is called an item. Now, can you see there it is, two down, an item. Now, let's see, th five down. eBay is an online auction site. Can you see it? Number five down, auction site. There it is. And number seven down, Amazon is a popular website. There it is, where you can buy things such as books, computers, and clothes. Okay, now let's look at the clues across, shall we? So we've got, when you find something you want to buy on a website, you put it in your shopping, number three across, your shopping, basket, there it is, can you see? Then we have number four, you can make a mm -mm -mm in different ways, for example, using your debit or your credit card or PayPal. Well, what can you make for a cross? Let's have a look. You can make a payment. There it is. Can you see? Then let's look at six across, I think, is the next one. When you are ready to buy something, you go to the ch ch to the what? Let's find it. Six across. You go to the checkout. There it is. And one more, number eight. You have to enter your delivery address so they can send your things to the correct place and if we look at eight across just to check the spelling there we have delivery very nice so that is exercise a now any problems there okay let's move on to exercise b let's see let's move on to exercise b shopping in a shop or store let's see so I usually go shopping in my lunch break so I don't have time to try on clothes, no? Probarse, no? There's always a long queue for the changing room, no? Probador. So I just take them straight to the checkout, no? La caja, to pay. I keep the receipt. Remember, we don't pronounce the P. Receipt. I keep the receipt so I can change them if they don't suit me, no? Si no me queda bien, si no me favorecen realmente, no? Sometimes I get the wrong size and the clothes don't fit, no? No me vale la ropa, no? I often take things back to shops, but the shop assistants don't mind. Any problems there? Just remember, just remember as we're here in receipt, can you see we don't pronounce that P, receipt, receipt. Very good, very nice. And finally, we had letter C also. It says complete the sentences with a word from the list. Debit, next day, receipt, which is the example, sales, shopping bag and till. Well, number one, if you're not happy with an item, you can take or send it back with the receipt. Number two, you can buy things with 50% off in the sales. Number three, when you've tried on your items, you take them to the till to pay. No, que realmente es la caja registradora, the till. No? In shops in the UK, you pay 5p for a shopping bag no? to carry your items home in. Excuse me, number five, you need shopping bag don't forget number five you need shopping bag now number five websites accept credit and what kind of cards well debit cards and you can also pay with paypal no and number six most online stores offer free delivery but you need to pay for next day delivery 
Very nice. Now, solo cuidado ahí con el número 4. Lo vamos a volver a marcar porque falta bag. Shopping bag. Recordamos, ahí está. ¿Vale? Very nice. So that's your homework corrected. Thanks for listening.